Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Learning English with G. Lalwani. Today we'll be learning about the importance of participation in communication. A lot of times we, we really want to talk but we don't talk. We know about the topic but we don't speak about the topic, right? We are just quiet because we don't want to be wrong, we don't want to mess up, we don't want to, uh, uh, you know, let take the risk of making mistakes. And that's why we don't participate in conversations, be it personally or professionally. This is a very bad thing to do, right? Do not play safe. Do not just be a listener because you, you don't want to go wrong or because you want to appear nice or because you don't want to take the risk of uh, saying something wrong. We all make mistakes. It is okay to take the risk of being wrong sometimes, but participate in the conversation, right? So. Uh, through this video, I'll be telling you more about why it is so important for you to participate and um, how it can enhance your uh, communication skills and also help you uh, build better relationships and create a better rapport. It will also help you uh, get a little closer to the promotions uh, personally. Participation is important in communication because it allows for a more collaborative an effective exchange of information. When both parties are actively participating in a conversation, it creates a sense of engagement and mutual respect. Active participation in communication can help for many different reasons. So here are a few uh, things that active participation in communication helps in. First, build relationships. Participation and communication helps to build trust and rapport between individuals, which can be important in personal as well as professional relationships, as I've already mentioned. It helps in clarifying understanding. Through participation, individuals can ask questions, seek clarification and provide feedback, which can help to avoid misunderstandings, right? So when you are listening to somebody and you feel that uh, oh, oh my god, I did not understand with what this person is saying. You can see for clarification. So the, the other person will, all, will also feel that you are listening to him. Correct? Third, generate new ideas. Collaboration and brainstorming often lead to the generation of new ideas and solutions that may not have been possible through individual effort. Opportunities come only when you try to participate more and engage more with the other person. Four, increase engagement. Active participation can help to create a sense of engagement and investment in the conversation, which can lead to better outcomes and greater satisfaction. Next, enhance problem solving. Participation and communication can lead to a more thorough exploration of problems and potential solutions which can lead to more effective problem solving. Overall, participation in communication is important because it creates uh, a sense of shared ownership and investment in the conversation which is so important which can lead to better outcomes, stronger relationships and a more productive exchange of information. So please participate. Please don't be scared, be it personally, professionally. Don't be scared of making mistakes. Don't be scared of being wrong. Everybody makes mistakes. See, look at me, even after practicing, practicing for so many years, I still get stuck. I still make mistakes. So it is completely all right, right? It doesn't mean that you don't talk. It's just that with time you will get better and better and more confident through your mistakes so please participate engage in the conversation all the perspectives and opinions and viewpoints that you have learn to share them with others right that that is what will get you opportunities that is what will make you confident that is what will help you have a better rapport with the other person so uh, yes this is all i've got to say I hope that I will see you soon in the next session. If you all have any doubts, then you can definitely post it in the comments uh, comment section. If I have not replied to you, I apologize again. Remind me, don't hesitate to send one or two um, messages. 
um, also I'm, I am not currently I am not taking one on one uh, consultancy classes or any other thing so uh, if when I do I will definitely drop a message in one of my videos but until then all the requests that I have received on my emails I just want to be very clear that I'm, I am not taking one on one consultancy I work only on Clappingo currently uh, so yeah that's the only way that you can have a conversation with me thank you so much for understanding I will see you again in another episode let me know if you like this video and found it helpful okay